Hippo. My name is Dr. Hillel Mazansky and I specialize in medical hypnotherapy, guided imagery, nutrition and exercise, my mantra being how to live a longer, happier, healthier life. My website is www.giinc.com, guided imagery and nutrition incorporated.com. Today we are going to discuss insomnia or the inability to sleep. The millions and millions of Americans suffer insomnia. There is not one of us who has not had a sleepless night about something or other. However, if the insomnia persists and you're unable to sleep, then it can have serious consequences. We know that insomniacs have a decrease in their immunity and when one's immune system is decreased, disease emanates. It is also of interest that a recent medical study proved that people who suffer from insomnia have a greater degree of obesity in comparison to those who do not sleep, who sleep well. Sleep is extremely important as it is restorative. During sleep every single cell in our body is regenerated and we are invigorated. All those who suffer from insomnia know how difficult it is the next morning to get out of bed and how they have difficulty in functioning. The two main causes of chronic insomnia are one, psychological in origin, stress, anxiety, worry, depression. The second is chronic ongoing pain. The origin of the pain is not of, so Im of importance what is, is they suffer pain, such as the pain of arthritis in the elderly, fibromyalgia, post-operative pain, irritable bowel syndrome, dysmenorrhea, and the list goes on and on. The question is, if you have insomnia, what is the best way to treat it? I know for a fact that patients tend to go to their physicians and before you can say Jack Robinson, the prescription for a hypnotic or a sleeping medication is given and the patient is discharged. That is not the manner of handling a, um, uh, insomnia. There are natural methods that one can do to have a better night's sleep. The first is daylight. One hour of daylight every day is extremely beneficial. It does not necessarily have to be sunlight, just daylight. Sitting out, preferably in the early morning, without sunglasses and absorbing the morning light. This has to do with what is called the circadian rhythm the rhythm of sleep and being awake and by getting just one hour of daylight every day improves your chances of sleeping at night. Two, exercise. One does not have to go to a gym to participate in strenuous exercise. 45 minutes to an hour of exercise is extremely beneficial to assist you to sleep at night. I recommend my patients walk early in the morning and in this manner you kill two birds with one stone. You're getting your one hour of daylight and you're getting your exercise. Thirdly, before once you go to bed, do not have the television on because it is too stimulatory and one cannot sleep. Watch TV before you go to bed. 
Your bed is meant to sleep in, not to watch television. If you wish to read a book while you are uh, in bed, that's fine. The light should not be very bright, but should rather be dim. Do not go to sleep after a heavy meal because you will be awakened during the night because of the discomfort of the heavy meal. Alcohol should not be taken within a few hours of sleep. If you have your glass of wine or your one alcoholic beverage, make sure you do not take it later than 6 o'clock at night. Excess alcohol will put you to sleep but then you will experience what is called the rebound phenomenon. You will wake up during the night and will be unable to sleep. If you are unable to sleep, do not lie in the bed counting sheep. That is of no benefit. Try for 15 or 20 minutes and if you're unable to fall asleep, get up and do something read or walk around or engage yourself in something until you feel tired and when you feel tired return to the bed we recommend that just before going to bed one has a small piece of fruit with a little bit of protein the idea being that your blood sugar will be raised during the night and you will not be awoken Oftentimes people awake during the night because their blood sugar drops and they wake up. Similarly with going to the bathroom to urinate. If this is an issue that causes you to wake up during the night, we suggest you do not have anything to drink, any fluids, after 6 o'clock at night. Drinking caffeine at night is counterproductive because that has a stimulatory effect and it will keep you awake at night. Now, if you have tried all these methods and they have not been successful, resort not to medication which has side effects and stops working after a few weeks. We have had extreme success in doing medical hypnosis on patients suffering from insomnia. They, plus other patients who do not suffer from insomnia, often fall asleep during the hypnosis session. You will bring with you a recording device. The hypnosis session will be given, you will record it, and every night prior to your going to sleep, you listen to our recorded voice and you will be amazed at the results. Medical hypnosis is non-toxic, it's not habit-forming and it has no side effects. It adds only to the enjoyment of your sleep. I thank you.